welcome to EG Jewel Lepidary. My name is Eli Ganim and today I'm going to talk about the problem that sometimes it happened to us and it actually it did happen to me so I figured I'll make a video of it and I will show you how I changed that and made it to work for me. Uh, the problem is that I had uh, I made a pendant and I had the stone was already set I had the bezel already uh, pressed all around the bezel and what happened is by doing that I pushed or I had a little bit uh, of pressure on the bale and I broke it. So now I got uh, the cabochon is in, the bezel is tight around it and um, I had to weld uh, another bale uh, for the one that broke. The problem is the cabochon is turquoise and I don't think I'll be able to use heat uh, to put a bezel in. So what I did is uh, I figured I'll do something else in order to uh, change that and fix it without putting heat on the cabochon itself. So I'm going to show you what I did. Actually, what I also did is I made another one so to show you two things that I will do. One is going to be another pendant. So it was a pendant, so I'm going to make another pendant. And uh, the new one that I did, I'm going to make it as a ring. So you have the options, uh, especially if the cabochon is small, you could do a ring. Uh, if it's too big, well, you got to stay with the pendant. Uh, so I'm going to show you all that. Uh, at the same time, uh, the ring I want to make is going to be uh, size six and a half. So I'm going to show you uh, how to cut it and uh, to cut the size, the length, and uh, uh, then work it out with the new jig that I did. So I'm going to show you all that. So just stay with me. I'm going to focus here on what I have to show you what I'm doing. So this is the pendant that uh, that uh, the bale broke off from it, and as you could see, it's already mounted in. And uh, what I did is I made now another bezel, and what I used, I used the, uh, uh, the step bezels, and the step bezel, it's something similar to this where it had a little step on the inside where you could sit your bezel on when it's done. So this is the bezel already welded and made to size so all I have to do is just fit this one in and and close it all around and I'm going to make this one as a ring. So I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm going to make another bezel that this will fit in and then I will have the shank uh, at the bottom of it. And since I want to do this one uh, size six and a half, I get, have to find out the inside diameter and it's given down here. Six and a half it's 16.8 millimeter in, uh, the diameter. And what you have to do, the formula is to take the uh, the inside diameter plus the metal thickness. So I'm going to use this one here as the ring shank. So my uh, size here is one millimeter. So if I take one millimeter and add it to the inside diameter, so I get 16.8 and 1 plus 17.8 and then you multiply that by 3.14 so 3.14 multiply it's 55.89 uh, in length so 55 millimeter 0.89 that's basically 55.9 so if I go in and take the length at 55 Point nine, and I need to cut this one here. So I'm going to have a little bit extra and then cut it to size later on. So. 
Okay, so this is good. Two ends fairly cut straight, but we know they're not straight. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my jig and I'm going to use the file to file the ends. But before I do that, I just want to mark the surface to see where I'm cutting, that I make sure that I'm cutting everything, not just one corner and not the other one this way. I make sure that everything is square. Okay. So now I'm going to put this one flush to this. And all I have to do is at it. Still just a touch. I still have black down at the bottom. I gotta clean that up. turn it around and that should be about the right size for six and a half. Okay. So now I need to Perfect. Okay.
So now I got all these done. Okay, this the pendant, and this is going to be the ring. So this we already fitted in. I'm going to make sure it fits nicely again, just to make sure before I solder the ring shank. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to polish everything even before I solder this one. And the reason for that, it makes it easier later on once it's polished, makes it easy to repolish after that and you don't have to go through the uh, the little critical area where you can't reach. Right. Okay, so now I had the pendant. It's welded, soldered with the bail, and it's ready to go. I uh, semi-polished all of them. Uh, this is the one for the ring, the bezel that I did for the ring, and this is the shank, which like we did six and a half, uh, size six and a half. So the pendant this goes here and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fit it right in and then close the bezel on it let's see here here you go make sure it's sitting properly in the back which it is now all I have to do right now is close the bezel over the old bezel and once that is done I just go and, and uh, final polish using a um, the rouge and that's basically it's done the ring okay this is the bezel we did now I gotta put this one back in and it does fit nicely but all I have to do right now is solder the shank and on the bezel and then uh, set it up also the same way. So let's go and solder this one here. I already filed a little bit the areas here so the ring can sit on it and also I did the same thing on the on the ring. So I got two areas here that just filed a little bit to give it a flat so when I uh, solder it, it will, it will sit properly, it will sit nicely. So now what I'm going to do, I will put yeah, I will put the uh, here. Oh, but I'm using medium solder right now. So one here Now this here it's hot so you better make sure that that you don't touch it and the solder looks beautiful on both sides. Okay. Now I just put in the acid. Okay. Be 
beautiful. So now all, all I need to do now is just um, polish it and uh, then set the stone in. And it's good to go. So now I finished the uh, uh, polishing and I did set them up and they look they look really nice. So this is the pendant already set in, all polished. Ready to go with the ring, it's the same thing. It's already done. And it's all ready to go. So basically if you had any problem like that and uh, some of the solder that you did fell off or broke for whatever reason. We all get crazy about things happen like that. But if it happened to you, just walk away from it and come back later with a different idea or think out of the box. There's always a way to do it. So here, like I said, I get the uh, turquoise cabochon already set independent and I, all I did is I, is I did another uh, uh, bezel around it. So I put a new bezel around it and that uh, solved the problem. So I hope you like uh, this video and uh, if you like it, just uh, go and uh, subscribe, comment to it, and I do answer every uh, comment that I get. Uh, so if you have any question, even on other things, just uh, text me or send me a line. And don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to follow me on Facebook. Thank you very much and until next time, have a great day.